Just another Glock clone or something much more interesting? It's a pair from Shadow Systems coming up. Hey guys, I'm Johnny with PewPewTactical.com, your definitive source for gun reviews, gear guides, and all things that go bang. Today we're taking a look at two pistols from Shadow Systems, the XR920 and the MR920L. I'm gonna tell you all about them. I get them out to the range and hopefully help you decide if one of these nine millimeters is right for you. Hey, if it's your first time here, we always put a ton of stuff right down below for you to check out. There's also going to be a link that's going to jump over to our website. Now, once you get on the website, there's a full article. So look up above and down below in that article. There's a lot of stuff in there to help you out in the bang department. So check it out and see what you think. Also, we've got merch. There's a link below for that as well. Softest tees in the game. Okay, so here's a pair from Shadow Systems, the XR920 and the MR920L. So folks that are in the know, they love shadow systems. A lot of my buddies just rave about them, but until this test, I have never even shot one. And here's the literal rock that I have been apparently living under. Now they've got a bunch of different models, but to make it easy for this one, the XR920 has the compact slide with a duty size grip and a 17 round capacity and the smaller one, the MR920L. Well, it's got a longer slide, but the grip is a little bit smaller. You can kind of think of this one as a G17 slide with a G19 grip, sort of. They also have a couple different packages for each. The XR that I tested is the combat package, and the MR has what Shadow Systems calls the elite package. You can tell because of the windows in the slide and extra serrations. Now, a lot of features here, you can already see up top that the slides are cut for optics already. And there's also lots of serrations to get a hold of it however you choose. The setup and controls will feel totally familiar to you on day one. Everything is right where it's supposed to be. Ergonomics are fantastic. The grips are a little like sandpaper, and I like them a lot. And they come with extra palm swells so you can dial yours in the way you want to. Now, Shadow Systems says that their guns have extreme reliability. It's what they say on their website. But they say it's because they're simply making things more out of metal than plastic like a lot of the guns on the market. So more metal like in the trigger the sights, and all of the slide internal parts are machined from billet stainless steel. The sights I'm gonna call really, really solid, a box in the back and a bright night sight up front. It's a big green dot. Now, as far as aesthetics, I think they're okay. The branding is fairly subtle, so no complaints from me. What they come with is a box and a soft carry case that I really like three back straps to choose from, and a pair of Magpul magazines. Street price right now for the XR in the combat package is about $900, and the street price on the MR920L Elite is about a thousand, give or take, maybe just a little bit over. Okay, so you've already said to yourself, okay, it's just another Glock clone, well, maybe, but again, their reputation is solid, and even some of our staff here at PPT have strong opinions on the Shadow Systems lineup. People do like them. So yeah, they are Glock Gen 4 clones, but the tolerances are much tighter and the machining is absolutely gorgeous. Now the slides and barrels are manufactured with just better material and everything that Glocks need on day one, what you have to fix after purchase, like undercutting the trigger guard and slide cuts, getting rid of those plastic Glock sights, all of that is already done for you. So all that said, let's get out to the range. For this test, I used every Glock style magazine that I could get my hands on, I loaded them up, with blazer brass and I let her rip. Now Shadow System says that their guns have a 150 to 200 round break-in period. And I was testing these literally on their first rounds right out of the box and they ran great. I had a stove pipe on one, a failure to feed on the other on their respective first magazines and then they both smoothed right out. 
I also added a Holosun Optic and a Trigicon RMR. Both optics did great and I'll have links to both of those in the article somewhere. The trigger I'm gonna call outstanding. It's aluminum, it's flat-faced, about five pounds on the brake, and that brake and reset are so crisp, you can tell where you are. A lot of guns in this category need trigger work on day one. Not this one, this trigger stays as it is. Now, other than the size of the grip and capacity, I really couldn't tell a difference between these two. They both ran great, like really, really great. And I wanna use that word again, crisp. They just were crispy at the range. Now, I had shots on target, super accurate. They ran clean, the ejection was consistent, and they both locked back on empty every time. So in short, they do what they're supposed to do and I like that. All right, let me tell you overall what I like and then I'll tell you one negative that I experienced. I do think there is a lot to like here. First, I like that the slide is already serrated and cut for your optics, that's huge. I also like the huge aftermarket options that you have. Shadow Systems has kept their models close enough to the Glock family that you can use the holsters that are made for Glocks and beyond that, you can do whatever you want to to dial yours in if you want to. Next, I love the extended beaver tail. I get slide bite on nearly every gun that I fire, but not with this one. It's a great little detail that made a difference for me at the range. Finally, I like that grip. I said it once before, it's great. And I also like all the tactile and the ergonomic stuff. It feels good in your hands. The grip texture, again, is great. Good thumb rest, legit solid trigger palm swell options, your hands are gonna be happy. Now, as far as shortcomings, the only issue that I had was with the MR920L. It did not like one of my magazines. I have an Extendo from Faxon, and that MR hated that magazine, would not work, and I have no idea why. That mag works in a lot of other guns, no idea. Also, I really think on this one that with the price, I think maybe Shadow Systems could throw in a third magazine. Two's great, but three would be sweet. And that's all I have to report to you on this one, except for that one magazine problem. Everything did exactly what it was supposed to do. Now, keep in mind, I didn't run them really hot on a hot day. I didn't. I also didn't run them suppressed or with jacketed hollow point, but for what I did, this test does have some limitations, but what I did, they really, really ran well. So overall, I can say they lived up to all the hype for me. They ran great, they feel good in my hands, and I've got nothing to complain about. I'm actually really, really happy with both of these. So on both of these pistols, two huge thumbs up from me. Now, usually on a test like this, when I'm doing two, I'm supposed to tell you which one I like and which one I prefer. I don't really have an opinion on that. Personally, I like the larger grip on the XR, but I think regular sized people will prefer the compact grip. Other than that, both guns ran great. I've said that three times. They ran really, really well. And other than the grips, they felt absolutely identical. So if you're shopping for a Shadow Systems, my opinion is to get the one that feels good in your hands, and I'll think you'll be as happy as I am. And that's all I have for you today. They were great, super, super easy test. On behalf of the entire Pew Pew Tactical team, I'm Johnny, and we'll see you soon.